Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, is this the beginning? This is the beginning. The Courage and Nate Shot Show. This is our first live episode. Live from TwitchCon. Everyone out there, if you can make some noise. No, you guys, you guys just messed up the audio for the entire oh, podcast. Wow. Ruined, ruined. Um, as always, shout out to Cash App for sponsoring the Courage and Nate Shot Show. Cash App, it's the number one finance app in the App Store. It's the most powerful way to send, spend, and save. And it's connected to the free cash card, the only debit card with boosts. Just select a boost in your cash app, then instantly save it to your favorite places like 10% at Chipotle or $1 off at all coffee shops. There's always new boosts, so be sure to check. Also, you don't want to switch debit cards yet? You don't have to. Cash up lets you instantly transfer funds to your cash card for free. Cash up is the most convenient way to buy Bitcoin, that electronic money. Most Bitcoin exchanges require five days or more for bank transfers to become investable. With Cash App, though, it takes seconds. Make sure to download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Market today. Guys, dead ass. Just go download Cash App. It's a great app. They support our team. Yes. They love 100 Thieves. We yes. love them. Cash App is fucking dope. This guy's got the Cash App logo on his jersey. Boom. We love Cash App. Guys, I'm telling you, it's so easy. Go download Cash App and start sending money. <laughs> go play WoW. Special day today. Very Hi. special day. Yeah. Because we have one of the kings, the kingpins from days negative 10, not even day zero, day one of streaming. This man basically coded the website to stream. He's been doing it for so long. I truly believe that, too. Yeah. That's he is a heard. very, very below average World of Warcraft player. <laughs> Rich Campbell. God. Shut the fuck up. Is his dad. <laughs> And yeah, no, wait, he plays with Rich Campbell? I know. I kill Rich Campbell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. That's what we need to hear, baby. Wait, does, um, does Rich still have the mustache? I mean, if he does, then he's probably in jail somewhere. Yeah. There's some goofy outfit going with it, too. Yeah. 100%. Guys, <laughs> we got I, I'm going to interrupt both of you. We have Soda Poppin' on the podcast yeah. today. Yeah. The Courage and Nate Shot Show, live at TwitchCon. First of all, I want to give a big shout out really quickly before we get into Soda Poppin' because I actually have a lot of questions. Okay. Because when I've Jack says, of- like, you helped build Twitch, I believe that, but I just don't know enough about you. I feel like okay. our paths have never crossed. Mm. But we're at the Totino's booth. They did a phenomenal job of getting this sprung up as quickly as they did. Yeah. I feel like a zoo animal with all these people around me looking at me. Don't make eye contact with me. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but really quickly, I have some really big news that I'm excited about that I've been working on now for a few months. Sure. I co-designed in-game items in partnership with Totino's for the new Call of Duty. This was just announced. Whoa. We have a charm, a watch for your character, and a calling card. I, I personally co-designed this with Totino's and Call of Duty, and it's phenomenal. I can't wait. There's some things that I need to say specifically. Oh, go for it. Uh, Call of Duty has a special place in my heart, Ooh. which it does, and I was very thrilled for this opportunity. <laughs> Uh, and I don't need the script for this one, but Totino's been with us since the very beginning of 100 Thieves, and they have supported us in more ways than one, and I'm so proud to have them as one of our founding partners. Eat I can't wait the for the future. Roll. We have some incredible things coming in 2020, and yeah. I'm very much looking forward to continue to work with them. Thank you, Totino. I'm excited about the in-game items. You guys should check them out. And they Please spend your money on and microtransactions. I love microtransactions. I go. love them. You heard it here first, <laughs> folks. Also, shout out to, you know... Our- shout out Oak Boy. Shout out John Robinson. Shout out Cash App. Shout out Totes. Okay, Cash that's App. the only intro that we're doing. Yeah, that's Soda it. Soda Poppin. We're here. Hi. Dude, Hello. I, when I say this, whenever I tune into Twitch, you just have like 20,000 viewers. And I don't even know what you do. I don't either. I literally don't <laughs> know where you start What's the or what you do. Because I play a game that's not my main game, and I have eight people in my chat. And then you play Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, that's good stuff. That's and good have 47,000 viewers, and everyone's sending you donations to play mute. Stuff on your stream. Yeah, it's all dog shit. How? How? <laughs> what hack do you know? Wait, really uh, quickly, guys. I messed up. I okay. gotta say this really quickly. Oh, I'm go so for sorry. it. Sorry, Soda Poppin, I love you. <laughs> yes. Guys, just so you know, these in-game items, you can you receive them by buying and participating with Totino's products. They got the pizza rolls and the multi-pack party huh. pizza available starting mid-October. <laughs> Totino's, I'm so sorry, guys. Like but we got it. And guys, Totino's you, is no longer a partner. Yeah, if you buy the pizza tree. rolls, you will get... The in-game items. Okay, okay. okay let's what go back. This is have? about soda popping. I feel like that was my fault due to the ins- the messed up clap we did. It was all fucked uh, up. Trust me, <laughs> yeah, actually, that was, no, that's really go. weighing in, uh, in my conscience right now. But uh, we're gonna sl- <laughs> let 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 that slide. Okay. But no, dude, what is like? What goes through your mind when you like? Do you even? Uh, you've been doing this for so long. Yeah. You've, been, you've done so many games, so many things. You've experienced it all on stream. Does it even like set in anymore? Like how dedicated your viewer viewer base is, and how they will watch you. Day in and day out, play whatever the hell you play. I mean, subconsciously, I don't think about it, no. Yeah. But every now and then, I got to set myself back and be like, oh, I got it good. Yeah. How much, <laughs> hey, how much money do you have? 
Uh, I bet it's a lot. Uh, I mean, it's, it's you do brand deals. Like, do you sell sponsorships across your streams, and do you upload to YouTube as well? I don't. Well, uh, I don't take any money from YouTube, but I do have a YouTube channel. Wait, why don't you take any money from YouTube? I just, it goes to my roommate. She does it all, so it's just whatever. I don't need that. We, we should talk about that. <laughs> Let me be your editor, please. I will take. Brother, I will gladly take I'll all your you, money. I'll give you fifty uh, percent. I'll do it yeah. for you. Oh my god! You got you take fifty percent of your money. From, from, from what I hear about YouTube, it ain't that much. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hey, Whoa, hey. you've been hearing the wrong things about that, then really? because wait, we well, got to talk. Wait, wait, wait. I think we're having like a coming to Jesus moment. Yeah. <laughs> Most people make more money off their YouTube than their Twitch. Whoa, that's the opposite for me. This yeah, ridiculous. I'm gonna. We should Great. talk after this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll okay. talk after this. But uh, hey, Ryan Wyatt, Fwiz, head of gaming at Google or whatever your title is now, YouTube. He made. That we up. get this figured out. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. This fool's got 2.6 plus million Twitch followers and says that he ain't making no money on you. God damn, you were the winner of the most popular non-English streamer for the 2013 Blizzard Stream Awards. Wait, the most the non-English? The most popular non. Wait, oh, I can speak Spanish. Wait, why does it say most popular non-English? Mayamo Mateo. Uh, E2? C. Como se dice... Like, this fool was winning awards in 2013. Viva biblioteca. Oh, how many, how many years of the streaming were you in? Wait, no, no, no. 2013. One second. Because I actually... I, I'm, I feel like what? we're all over the place right we now. We are. I want to dial in. Okay. okay. Dial in. It's your turn to talk. All right. When did you start streaming on Twitch? Or Justin TV? Did you did you start on Justin um, TV? I did. I streamed on Justin TV, but Twitch was out. I started on X Fire. Oh, you started on what? X Fire. Oh, okay. So it was like this complete dog shit platform. Um, the only option you, you really could have play. was you. It would detect what game was running on your computer. So in this case, it'd be World of Warcraft. You would have to keybind the start streaming button, which was insert. That's what I bound it to. And the only options you had was you could change your microphone and you could change your camera. You couldn't even choose where your camera went. I had to move my whole Wow UI. To adjust where the bottom the bottom left corner. <laughs> That's where it auto put your camera. You could not move it. And what year was this? 2012? 2012? And what and what no, was No, 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 I'm sorry. Might have been 2000, 2009, I think, actually. Holy shit, man. Yeah, it was a long time. And you were streaming just ago. straight off your PC? Yeah. I uh, I was such a bad PC it could barely handle anything. But um yeah, I, I couldn't figure out how to edit videos. It's too much effort. It's stupid. But then my friend was just like, you can just hit this one button and go live. I just wanted to stream my friends in Ventrilo. Well, Ventrilo at the time. Throwback on that. You are, you really are the OG. Because I started streaming in 2010, 2011. And that was on Justin TV. Yeah. Um, but the technology wasn't good enough back in the day because I played on console. So I had like a Dazzle DVC 100. It was like this tiny red, red, blue, oh, God. RBG shit. I don't know. It but the, the fact that you were streaming back then, what were you playing? World of Warcraft. So my first stream ever was, you know, my friends wanted to see me play because it's like, Nowadays, you can even like stream on Discord, right? So yep. you can stream for your friends. But back then, it was like watching someone play a game. It was hard to do. Um, and I was a little higher rated than most of my friends, and they wanted to like see my arena game. I was like, okay, let me stream for you guys really quick. I'll show you an arena match. Plus, I played Feral, so no one knew how to play Feral. There was no guides. that like YouTube wasn't even big yet. Yeah. No one knew what it even looked like. So that in itself sort of is what got me started. Wait, I love that. When, yeah. So when did things start picking up steam for you? So when so you were on X Fire. Uh huh. When did the transition go from that to Twitch? When or Justin TV? Twitch started yeah, getting yeah. bigger. A lot of my viewers are like, "Hey, just let you know, this website fucking blows. You should probably." Go <laughs> I get a like, virus every time I come on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really bad because like I got banned every single day on X Fire because you could mass report my account. Nice. And so That's every day sick. I was banned, and so I had to make my first account name was just my Steam name, and then it was Soda Pop, and then Soda Pop in one. And I would change it every day, but then people started catching on. Then they started making account. They made account named Soda Pop in three, four. So then I, my name was like Soda Pop in four, six, seven, three, two, one, nine. Like just throwing in random like zip codes. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so, so, was, so at some point I transferred to Twitch. I'd say maybe 2012, 2013. Oh my God, dude, I love that. Wait, I, I'm a big fan. I, <laughs> I, 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 I just I didn't to be able to hear that and where it all actually started for you. Yeah. It's fucking dope. I never even heard of X Fire before, and I've been watching. How much money you got? <laughs> <laughs> he's done that. Already. He's done that. Already. I, no, I know. I do. All it. right, I have to tell you something that might offend you. Okay, um, I'm ready for it. Matthew Nate Shot Haig has never played World of Warcraft. Ooh. Never. I gotta swap seats. Let me sit next to the guy that's played Come WoW. On. <laughs> my God. No, <laughs> my no. God. All right, listen, you don't. You don't want Deus Mortis as I named myself when I was 14, the Blood Elf Rogue. But I will shank you, started, you, dog. You started in BC. You just. I will. Me. I will shank you, dog. Wait. Okay. Why did you call me out specifically? 
because you have never played World of Warcraft. Guys. And I have said this before, and I think you'll agree. I think every person in the world that considers themselves a gamer or plays games should experience World of Warcraft in their well, life. So when you look at a lot of these OG, like oh, it's not just OG streamers, the streamers in general, they're all jumping back to classic. A lot of them are hurting their channel, but they're like, I don't give a shit. This is the game I played back in the day. This is the game I grew up playing. I'm going back and I'm doing it some more. For the record, yeah. So that you don't hate me, because I, because I think we were talking a little bit before this. Yeah. We're, I got some other things we need to talk about. I think we might be best friends, and I don't want that this to ruin our friendship. <laughs> I always wanted to play World of Warcraft. I always had interest in it. I just never took the time because it, back in my day, around when you were playing World of Warcraft, yeah. I was playing like Halo and Gears of War and Call of Duty. And I was trying to go pro. You're holding a little controller at all times. Oh, little, he's joystick. A little controller. That ain't right, man. <laughs> hey, that ain't right. That was me too, though. So I can't really get. Uh, it's definitely the same. Fuck World of thing. Warcraft. <laughs> fuck Doki Doki or whatever game you play. Yo, fuck X Fire. Doki Doki? Hey, Doki Doki's. I've watched Doki Doki. I hate right? everything about you, and wow. you're stupid. And hey. I, yeah. <laughs> great episode, guys. Thanks for watching. This is, no, this is going great. Um, no, for real. I seriously like. I think every person in the world should experience WoW. It's a good and game. Yeah. It's so good, but at the same time, you've had a, a, a rocky history at times with with World yeah, of Warcraft. My criminal huh? record is juicy. Yeah, because you <laughs> you you were you were you uh, public enemy number one with Blizzard for a while. Yes, I'd say so. C like, can you give like for people out there that maybe have no idea of that story, like what the hell was that whole saga? I just didn't give a sh I was much younger, and I just fuck them, dude. Just don't care. <laughs> didn't care. I was just uh well, okay, so. You understand the mindset at the time was, you know, this job ain't going anywhere. Eventually, I got to go to college and like get a real job because not only did like people not make money streaming at the time, but on top of that, there was no future in it. At least that's what people no one knew it was going to turn into a job. It wasn't like, hey, we're working towards a future job. No, no, no. Yep. You didn't give a fuck. You didn't care. I was just trolling the whole time. Half the time I'd just be spewing stupid. I don't even I just say it's the stupidest, most outlandish shit, and I didn't even believe what I was saying. Yep. Um, so there were times I would just prank call Blizzard. It was bad. I probably wouldn't do it nowadays. I don't think you would. Um, I don't think anyone would. Yeah. Wait, who did you call at Blizzard that like picked up? I don't. Wait, I'm confused. I would just call Blizzard support. Support line. Shit. Yeah, just just troll them. Like there was one thing in the game I didn't really like, and I was just like, you know, I'm just call Blizzard support and just tell them how much this is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like Man. it was a. Uh, hey, like, that's. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah. You you went and gave your input. Yeah. yeah, there was there was PVE gear would help you in PVP more than PVP gear. So that was so stupid. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna call him and just and it was some poor guy named Timmy or something. He didn't know he's working poor Timmy. a job. He just does support tickets, like supposed to like, hey, I got banned, brother playing my account, whatever that kind of stuff. And then when, yeah. here I come, dude. I just started attacking him personally. And then bad. live on stream. Yeah, on stream. <laughs> I just viewers? started attacking him personally. At the time, I probably had like maybe five, six K. It was uh, a, that was Still a good, good amount of people. It was the definitely like in the, at the time that was number one in the wow section pretty, pretty far. And there was like, was there a time where you were just like completely banned off the game? Not oh, plenty of, of time. Right. Cause then I got perma banned one yep. time. I this was cause I live streamed botting on my stream. I was botting uh, Battlegrounds where I would run a thing that would just basically play the game for me. And I was like, my <laughs> friends came over and they're like, hey, we want to go to Chili's, man. I'm like, okay, but like, I got to play WoW and like stream. It's like, like, come on, man. Don't you want to hang out with friends? So my huge brain, I decided, oh, well, why don't I just Five live in. stream and bot while I go to Chili's with my friends? <laughs> Did you at least get something good at Chili's? Yeah, they got it. They got the two for twenty deal. They up, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got the two for twenty hey, deal. He got banned, but he got the two for twenty. That's deal. right, that's dude. Right. They have great, uh, like icy drinks. You know what I'm talking about? Like slushy drinks. Oh, really? Like, well, uh, like a they got like a strawberry margarita. That, that shit hits. This different. this sums up Matt's brain so perfectly. Like we're having a great conversation. He's talking about the chili slushy drinks. Well, he brought up two for twenty, and now I want baby back. Yo, honey chipotle chicken crisp for five. <laughs> Got the whole thing unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get, the, you, get the, you get the free appetizer. You get the chips and salsa. They don't give you the queso. It's too advanced of an appetizer. They give you that salsa. Guys, we need to go to Chili's. Chili's oh my god, I can just shit. taste the ribs. And now I'm thinking of the Office episode where Michael goes to Chili's. It's good stuff right there. No, I'm all about you it. You guys see what I have to deal with out well, there? Everyone's, everyone's like the ribs. The <laughs> ribs at Chili's actually fall off the bone. It's kind of impressive mm. for like a fast food restaurant. For, I wonder for how. Sure. I wonder how they're prepared. I don't know, Matt. I don't think about Chili's ribs very often. How fresh do you think uh, Chili's food is? Probably pretty fresh, I would hope, or else it'd probably be shut down. So you got Permaband off. Sponsored by Totino's or Chili's? I'm hey, we love Chili's. to. I, I eat pizza rolls when I'm at home and when I'm out with my friends and not playing World of Warcraft. I eat Chili's. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, actually, funny story. Uh, my dad tweeted something on, I don't know what he tweeted. Apple. Oh, 
He fixed his neighbor's roof for free. And Applebee's tweeted at him and was like, hey, DM us. We have something for you. He got a $50 gift card. And I've never like seen my dad so happy. He got a $50. To g- Applebee's. To Applebee's. Hey, half off hey, apps. I fuck with you, Applebee's. Half off apps. Okay, half off apps. Okay, so you get banned a few times off of WoW. Mm-hmm. Now, when you were permabanned, how long was that for? And did you ever think was, to yourself? No, it was a permaban. And it was really stressful because I got permabanned uh, three days before my SAT test. And I that was really, probably good for you. I, no, I bombed that essay. I couldn't stop thinking about my band. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that ruined. He's thinking the SAT is the my, thing my brother, that set My brother whole... Ryan's out there. He tutored the hell out of me for the SAT. You're a because, saint. You're a because, saint. Because I bombed that SAT so bad. Wait, what'd you score? I, we ain't going to talk. Stop. Yeah, we, <laughs> we don't need the D. It was bad. An eight? It was, eight it was, out of 1,600? But I, I did work on the SAT. Ryan tutored nice. the hell out of me. Um, and I even took some SAT prep. Class. It was bad. But <laughs> overall, that permaban... Fucked up my life. Thank God. <laughs> thank God streaming worked out. Yeah. Now you're no, rich. You're right. Yes. You're right. Fuck the SATs. Fuck the SATs. Ugh. That's our that's our lesson for all the kids out there. Fuck the SATs. You know what pisses me off about the East Coast? Wait, where'd you grow up? Uh Austin, Texas. Oh, you grew up in Austin? Have yeah. you ever been to Sixth Street? Yeah. Uh, well, no, Sixth not until incredible. I grew up. I never knew it existed because I never went outside. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Man, the, uh, that. Everybody on the that. East Coast or everybody that I've known through video games, whenever we somehow start talking about the SATs. Yeah. No, I took the ACT. Nobody that I know take, took, I took the both. ACT. I took both. Wait, what'd you get on the ACT? Like a 28. Fuck. It's actually pretty. Isn't like top score four? That's pretty good. It's like 30. Nah, it's 36. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. I always thought I was smart. Like I always like considered myself to be a smart guy until I took the ACT. Yeah. I was always making fun of my brother because he got a 24. I'm like, hey, fucking, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> and then I got the same exact score. And we're both stupid. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Um, Chance. Yes. I'm so into WoW. Uh, sorry. I don't get to talk WoW with many people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My I'm man. sorry. Uh, I'm going I'm to ask All right, you. All right, well, you talk to him about WoW, and then we're going to talk about anime. Okay, so well, get, good. Get it out now. Did you ever think Classic would actually happen? Did you ever think they would embrace it there and was do a, what they've done? There was a very big period where, no, I didn't think it would. Yep. Um, like, I would talk with a lot of people at Blizzard uh, behind closed doors and stuff like that. And I was, uh, I, I can't say too many things about the things, but a lot of things were making me lean towards this probably is never going to happen. Yeah. Um, it, it was very rough. I remember I was on stream. We got a petition going, like, just to show people, hey, we want this. Please put effort into this at yep. the very least. And the problem was it, it looked like there was, even with effort, it may not happen. It was, yeah. it was rough, but... Ooh, I remember they announced it at BlizzCon, and I did not know they were going to announce it. A lot of my really? friends, so a lot of other people that, I guess, had better friends at Blizzard than I did, <laughs> knew that they were going to announce it at BlizzCon, and I didn't know. And all of those friends really wanted to hang out with someone that didn't know that was excited. So they're all looking for me. Oh, they knew I moments. didn't know. They were like, I want to see this announcement with Chance, because they know that I didn't know it was going like, to yeah. actually be announced. And when it did, oh my god, it was sick as hell. Like... I was stoned out of my mind, but it was. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it was. It was hard for me to like. How much blood on. rushed down to your private parts? Say what? What'd you say? <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> don't, I'll be honest with you. Don't I'm, don't entertain Matt ever. That's my number one. That's my. That's how I live my whole life. I literally keep him permanently muted at all times. I really do. There's no other way to put it. In Discord, you just kind of turn his volume yeah, lower I, than I, else. I need an adult. I really do. I need an adult. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's eternally needed one. Um, yeah, no, I remember seeing it come out and like the original trailer showed with like the guy walking over with the bo- with, with the bear as they like look over, what you would call it. And yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I just got the chills, bro. Big trailer. They yeah. actually did it, dude. Like, I can't Big believe shit. they did it. And from everything I've seen, from all from everyone I've talked to, it seems like they did it the right way. Um, for yeah. the most part, yeah. Like, for the most part, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, they, they're doing really well. The the classic dev team and whatnot are. Um, they most of the community loves them. Does, they're doing a great job. Does Blizzard still not uh, dislike you? Like, what do they you? Don't like, if you had it, if you had a, this is chance. This is a Blizzard. Do they still not like you? I'm sure there's some people that have a distaste for me overall, but they did allow me in the. They did a World of Warcraft anniversary commercial that they allowed me I, to go I did to. see that. Oh, you were in an anniversary commercial. Yeah, well, that's that awesome. It was okay. Like, so they, no, they like you. Yeah, I they think, wouldn't let I think, you do that. Yeah, dude, I, I mean, watched that, didn't register anyone that was in it, and then I scroll down to the comments like always on every YouTube video, and then I see like the most upvoted. I'm so happy dude. Chance got to do this. Yada yada. That was so soda cool. right here. Yada yada. Wait, yada. I'm still curious though, really quickly. When you no, got wow. perma, when you got perma banned, Back were you ever band. concerned that your streaming career might be over? Well, there wasn't much of a streaming career at the time. I oh, I okay. So this was kid. very early on. This was when I was making a new X Fire account every okay. day. Okay. All right. All right. My yeah, bad. So I, this is very early on. I thought this might have been like when you started. Every other band was more of a suspension. Switch. Okay. But not, people don't say suspension nowadays very often. But so, what other games do you play besides World of Warcraft? 
Right now, none. None. But with classic uh, out. If we're talking about like streaming and stuff like that, I play whatever. Do- like, oh man, I love. One of my favorite things to do for the stream is I like to go into GameStop, okay? And, you know, I go in, I say, listen, give me all of your shittiest games you have in this store. They love, they love me there. I'll have three stacks of, like, dog shit Wii games. And, of course, I bring these back on stream, and I'm like, hey, guys, let's go through them all. I love it when I, I have, like, three stacks of games and spending $3.40. A little kid behind me is buying the new Call of Duty for 60 bucks with his mom, and the mom is just like, why can't you be like him? <laughs> so I got three stacks of games, like, <laughs> buy the cheap dog shit. Oh, I'm buying, like... We fit like Dora the Explorer version. I'm literally Dora the Explorer. Putt Putt goes to the moon. All this, bro. It's and, so bad. And people like legitimately love to watch so much because they're so bad. I, dude, yeah. I, I spend most of the time just trying to get the, the games to work. <laughs> they're that, so they're so garbage. And that's so, a, that, and that's yeah. a, that the humor in it. The guys I, at GameStop love me. That oh, I've yeah. done it like done it five. Keeping them in business. You're keeping, just like please. You're keeping get, the Austin, Texas. Uh, well, they have to GameStop dust off these games. They can't sell them. No one wants these things. So I'm like, hey, I'll take them. Give them. This is a gold mine for me. This is. <laughs> I forgot oh, GameStop still existed. I don't know how they're doing, but I go in there. I, it's probably been about two years since I've done that, but yeah. Because <laughs> you're still working through the... You're, I mean, you're loving the game. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I've got... And now Classic's out. It's going to be five more years. Yeah, I, I don't plan on... A lot of my viewers are upset I'm not doing Variety, but they get it. This is my game. This hey, is my, yeah, I, I can tell you genuinely love video games because we walked in here and I was yeah. like, hey, man, were you at the party last night? Because we hosted one. Uh, <laughs> Totino's actually sponsored it. Shouts, Totino's. And I said, were you at the party last night? He's like, no, I went home. I'm like, well, why'd you go home? He's like, I wanted to play WoW. Yeah, I played a little bit of WoW. Logged in. Listen. But I didn't have to go to sleep. I wanted to get a good night's rest. When you experience yeah. WoW and you know how addicting it can be and how right. great it is, that's what happens. But, listen, Chance, how many Twitch cons have you been to? Every single one. So this is year five? I don't fucking know. Did you go to TwitchCon at you? Uh, yes. Jack, I love you. You got to talk about TwitchCon. I'm talking about anime now. Or okay, got to talk, talk about, about anime. World of Warcraft. <laughs> okay. Talk about anime. Okay, sure. <sighs> I don't know any animes. All right, just get on your phone and let me take it from here. I don't here. know any animes. All right. What Have do you, you ever watch? Do you, you watch the main, the shonen mainstream, animes? Mainstream stuffish, but I'm not. I'm not. Listen, you're probably based on how you're. You got all up into this conversation. Well, no, because you know Jack, Jack never lets me talk about anime, so okay. I get excited when I get to talk about with somebody. All right, let's let's te- test me and see where I'm at. I know it's not a test. This isn't okay. a test. This is a, a love affair for something that we both enjoy. Okay. Have you watched Naruto? Obviously. I I had to skip a lot of episodes. But well, they got a lot of fillers. Yeah, there's a lot of those. What'd you think? It was pretty good. I like the um, I like the fights. I just like the fights, dude. Man. Wait, you I'm know all about stories? Good fights. I don't, don't give too much of a shit about the story. It just takes so long to get into it. They, they uh, drag things out. Uh, okay, like we're going to get off anime. <laughs> <laughs> so you, know, you just skip to all the big, all yeah, the big but, fight scenes. I mean, it's just too lovey and sappy and like, it's oh, just like. Oh. my favorite part. It's <sighs> like Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter was good. Yeah, Hunter Hunter, for what it's worth, is not just an anime. I mean, it is like a very like existential thought provoking. It teaches you lessons about life, about oh. friendship, how to approach things. I'm not getting too serious with it. I swear to God, you go watch Hunter Hunter. The show is unbelievable. That is my favorite anime. God, dude, I, I have goosebumps. I, I, I am uh, convincing my girlfriend to watch anime with me. And she said she's Good down. Good luck. Good, Good luck. Yeah. Well, what about she likes it? Does your girlfriend watch anime? You're talking about, you're talking about the sex doll? Though? Yeah. <laughs> Matt, do you know that he has a sex doll that's his girlfriend? Yeah. She's pretty nice. Her name's Angel. A N G E L. <laughs> <laughs> How much does she weigh, Gal. dude? Is it like a heavy, like real, like I've only fucked her twice. It's like it's rough. It's a lot of cleaning. It's not worth. <laughs> nah, uh, it's okay. I, I had a flashlight before. I know. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. going on? Hey, yeah, this yeah. is the best podcast ever. Well, you start talking about sex dolls. I'm gonna start. Hey, she, well, she weighs. I get more, it. She weighs more than me. She's got to lose some weight. Uh, it's just, it's well, like booty. She she's got like a whole metal frame. It's just ridiculous. A metal frame? How much yeah. did you pay for it? I don't know. The stream bought it. Well, yeah, was that a P.O. box? Wait, the stream bought you a sex doll? I did it. Okay, I did a live stream where um, essentially, okay, so I did a live stream where we accumulated as much money as we could. And I said, hey, guys, all the money you give me today is going to go towards a fund that you all get to pick whatever the hell you guys want to buy. Anything y'all want. And yeah. we raised about $20,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I bet that could have went to a charity, but instead doll. it went to this, and they bought a sex doll as one of the one of the items. So they got a sex doll. They got like a little mini jeep that's actually street legal. <laughs> it's, it goes like 50, 60 miles an hour, but it has like it has a blinker. It's got everything that's required to go on the highway. Dude. You're allowed to. <laughs> I gotta be, I, I, dude. I swear to God, I think I've watched your stream like one time. 
when you were gambling. I remember watching it. Gambling streamer. I, 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 you might be my favorite streamer. You, I, you genuinely, I'm not saying you might be my favorite guest we've had on this show. Dude, I, I stand so His positive. gambling stuff, when it, I, I would like shit my pants watching from some of the bets that would go down. It was, um, so the way we had everything set up was basically like, I got, to, so I, I was sponsored by the gambling websites, yeah. right? They sponsored me in the sense where if I put in $500, they would put in 1500 as well, putting me to 2000 um, And as long as I gambled at least like an hour or so, like a decent amount, I get to keep all of my winnings, including the 1500 they put in. So, Dude, but, that sounds legal. But that being said, so that I get to keep legal. my winnings, but at the same time, it was like, if I lost, I lost potential money, I could win. Yeah. But I didn't like lose much money as opposed to like at the very beginning of the time I started gambling. So it wasn't the worst. I did some crazy bets. Oh, dude. Ridiculous. Yeah, it was fun. How long was that gambling period for you? Like it was, um, I want to say about a year. I mean, yeah, it, it went off and on because gambling on stream, like I had to stop for a while because uh, the whole CSGO gambling fiasco. Wait, did you up. gamble knives? A little bit, but I wasn't as into it as everyone else. I did it like once a week. Everyone else is doing it every single day. I'm like, I don't want to like make this my main content because yeah. I know this thing. This is a this is not gonna last. Forever. Something's gonna blow up here. Something's yeah. gonna, this, something's, this is not gonna end well, sort of thing. Yeah, and be, and that gambling affected all forms of gambling on Twitch. So it's like I gamble on stream now. It's like I'm not trying to hear about percent question marks and shit. It's now nah, I'm good. Right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm actually really upset that the knife betting uh, went away. And Valve got really upset. I loved CS:GO knife gambling i it was it was really it was sound like, like an addict oh i am <laughs> i i but there was there was nothing that i enjoyed more like that was the most fun i've ever had streaming i could i sat there from 7 p.m until 6 a.m gambling knives because the websites would just give them to me yeah. i wasn't a part of any of the websites i was almost which would have been awesome well, I mean, but I'm glad I did. If you have an audience, you're basically yeah. Of course, they'll give that shit to you. They make yeah. You're good, dude. I'm not condoning gambling, but fuck, do I love gambling? <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Some of the memories on those sites, man, were just like, so, dude. How ridiculous is it that I would just go on there, coin coin flip. That's not even gambling. I'm putting three hundred dollars worth of skins on a CT or T coin flip. Ooh. But like, yeah. like, how? St that's not even. There's <laughs> nothing enjoyable about that. That, that dopamine rush is big. Dude, it's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's just big as hell. There's nothing better when there's a big pot. There's like, it's like twelve or fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars worth of skins inside, and then you just come and drop the fucking hammer, four thousand dollars, tip the pot, and then you lose that shit. Oh, <laughs> it's the person oh. with like one knife yep. in the pot wins. I'm like, give me a break. Yeah, I, I would jump in the. I didn't again. I didn't do a whole lot of CS:GO gambling, but I did my fair share. I don't think I played a single game of CSGO. <laughs> <laughs> but so many people, they, people would accumulate like $100,000 in skins and like yep. they'd sign on, they're like silver too. Oh, what was his name? Care? Care CSGO, dude. He was like, bro, he's the biggest. Bro, that fool, that fool was a whale with how much money he had in his inventory. <laughs> you would open his inventory and he had like backup accounts that he'd throw everything in. No lie. I still think I have like a $20,000 inventory on in CSGO. Do. I have, you know, Ace Thug? Yeah. Guy DMs me like once every year just to remind me like, hey, you should give me my your skins. Dude, like, fuck I off. Things, I got people. I got two dragon lords. They're like, can I borrow one? I'm like, nah. Uh, <laughs> no, we're good. I, I ain't on. ever going to see that back. Yeah. How crazy is that? That that became such a big deal that it literally changed Twitch, mm -hmm. like changed all their rules. Valve literally overhauled their entire trading system with the seven days confirmations. Oh. This because of how many like bot accounts and people were getting scammed and this and that. Like it literally changed everything. That's how big. CSGO gambling became. I genuinely thought that some of the guys from CSGO Lotto and CSGO, uh, some of the sites were going to get arrested or something. At least be fined heavily. Dude, that was, and, that was wild. And you know what? They got off scot-free. I mean, some of them are my friends, so I'm happy for them. But <laughs> man, that was dangerous. <laughs> that shit was juicy. That I was, loved it. I, I just watched from the backgrounds like, damn, dude, this well, is some Do they have any shit. like casinos in real life in Austin, in Texas? No. C casinos in Austin are not. No. Do you no gamble, gamble at real casinos? Like, have you been to Vegas? No, my brother Ryan wants to take me. He, Wait, he, he, yes, you guys need to go to Vegas. I've what? just driven through, but I've never like done Vegas things. Bro, no lie, you and your brother, you guys should come to Vegas with me, uh, Jack, Tim, and Ninja. We've Ooh. gone now on like two trips. Good little, it's a good little crew. It's oh, a good boy. crew, and everybody loves to gamble. But Are you guys? Have, do you guys it? ever leave with money, or do you just lose? So who wins? Jack always wins because <laughs> because I walk at the correct winning time no bullshit we were in vegas like three months ago and we i we turned so we rolled have you ever played craps 
No. Craps Dude. is a very intimidating game, but it's very easy to learn. You'd fucking love it. You'd love I, it. I would and, love it. And, and you win as a team, basically. Like, when somebody's winning at the table, pretty much everybody's winning. Yep. So somebody rolled for about, like, 30 minutes, and then somebody rolled for 30 minutes after that, which is a very, like, doesn't happen often. Yeah. Uh, I turned $2,500 to $30,000 in an hour. Me and Jack left the table to go eat, and I, I cashed out and went and bought this watch. <laughs> In the store. Yo, I like that. And then I left with like still 15 grand. And I was like, hey, I'm on top of the world. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't pay for this watch. And then we went back to Vegas like a, a month later and I lost it all. So I oh. paid for this watch. But you got that watch. Yeah, okay. but I fucking hate it now. But you got that story. It's like a stain on my soul. Because oh. you know what happened. I always lose. I like, don't go to, don't go to Vegas. <laughs> I always yeah. lose. Don't too. gamble. Don't, don't gamble. gamble. <laughs> what was the biggest bet you've ever made on stream? On stream, I think, uh, I think I put in 5,000. It turned into a split and a double down, so 15. Oh, my God. I think. I'm not positive. And you won both of them? No, I lost. Oh. I'm going to pour one out in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, that was, no, that was, that uh, was some <laughs> shit. And, like, the whole the thing is, like, I knew all the dealers there for the most part, and I just remember, like, I would tell them in the chat room, they, they can't see my bet. They All they just know is to flip the cards and this, whatever, right? So I remember I, was, I told the guy, I was like, uh, hey, man, I'm putting this much down, 5K. He's like, really? So now he's stressed out. He's like flipping the cards real slow. And when I lost, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> my name was Thanos on there because someone someone else hacked my account and changed my name. So I, just, I just rolled with it. Dude, the amount of like Minecraft Mondays, everyone's Minecraft accounts have apparently have been hacked in the past. So everyone else joins in they're like we got to change your name we got to change your name we got to change your name because it's the same thing they've all been hacked and they got their names changed they're all changing their damn name how did it feel to kill dr disrespect at the h1 oh that Invitational? was oh that felt good oh my god are you a more elite gamer than dr disrespect oh for sure 100 percent better in every single way um absolutely yeah absolutely i never seen you play a doc but i was better. sitting there i remember i was i had the irl stream backpack on so i had this big lump on my back and i'm like sitting there i remember like this it was really awkward um, and I just saw a guy. I'm just like, I don't fucking care. Like, I don't even like I'm uncomfortable. If this guy kills me, so be it. Get yeah. me the fuck out of here. I'm ready to go hang out with my friends. And I kill. I look at the score. I look at the score. I'm like, that's Dr. Dick respect. Let's go. I felt so good. Oh, so I went over to the body tea bagged. I didn't even know how to loot corpses. I didn't know how to loot him. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta kill. It didn't matter at that point. You got the kill on Doc. And at that point, really, I was chilling. I was on top of the world. Oh, dude. Corpse yeah. is a weird word. Corpse. Corpse oh. is a weird word. I don't want to think about that. Why did you say that word? So I'm, just, I'm always teabagging corpses in games. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and and, and angle. In game. Angle. In, in, angle. in game. That's fantastic. Dude, a angle, that's that's still one of my favorite things. Wait. So, wait, I, we got to ask him about, I want to ask him about Austin, Texas, because that's like a big yeah. streamer hotspot. Do you have Google Fiber? Of, yeah, we do. So, oh, a lot of streamers are moving to Austin. It all started a long time ago at the Skill Capped House. Um, yep. So, I lived in Austin because my parents are there. So, I was streaming there. Uh, Recful, Tal Badar, Van Ruki. A lot of them had this big skill cap gaming. Out. Skill cap was like a, basically taught people how to play World of Warcraft when WoW was more better. <laughs> I don't uh, more what more better. I like more, more better. better. Um, and so it was me and them living there. And because the skill cap was there, then Mitch Jones decided to move to Austin. There wasn't a large pool of streamers like there is today. So like that many streamers in one area at the time of Twitch was a pretty big deal. Yep. Mitch moved there, and then more people moved there. More people moved to Austin. Um, Asma Gold happens to live there. And then I moved back to Austin after all this whole thing, and all these people are still in Austin. And then it's like more people want to move to Austin. Um, so XQC lives there. He was in my house for half a year or some shit, just streaming one of the rooms. I had like a rotating door. But like now Ms. Kip is living there. Uh, S fans, everyone's moving to Austin. Yeah. Um, not only is it like a lot of streamers are already there, so people want to move, but it has fiber, no state tax. It's cheap cheaper oh it's got a lot of perks austin's so. a, a fantastic city we actually considered when we had the optic house we considered going down to austin because for the price that we were paying we could have had Where is an the optic incredible house, house. The, the house was in chicago because me and okay. hector both live there i'm not sure if you're familiar with him but uh the house that we were looking at was like five grand a month it was like six thousand square feet it had a putting green and a pool in the backyard this is like and, this was like Seven years ago? Yeah, and it had Google Fiber. So we always thought about going. Yeah. Um, but it's one of my favorite cities to visit. Like, the it's nightlife's nice. incredible. I used to and live no downtown. No state tax is a big deal, too. Oh, for sure. That's why I moved to California, or out of California. But um, I, I lived downtown for about a year, and I, I realized I'm paying so much money to live downtown in the city, and I don't fucking go outside. I just, I literally just didn't. I'm like, why the fuck am I here? Yeah. I'm leaving. So I moved up north, got a much cheaper. I had a, 
My brother gave me some good advice on that. He <laughs> was interesting. Is, is um, you so mentioned I, your brother for every positive thing in life so far? Is he my like my brother is my is your guardian? Yes, he, he is in charge. He, he also is literally my lawyer as well. <laughs> Wait, you're a lawyer? Ooh. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I love how literally everything important to your brother is just like. He, 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 he reels he, in. He, co- he reels in. Brian is he is the boy. He is the brother. You're so. keeping it in the family. He I love that. Boy. Yeah. Oh, definitely. What's All the age difference? I can't read numbers. One. 14 years. Four, 18? 18. Wow. 18 years. 18 years was, old. Are, Holy are, shit. Not, not not to be in the most respectful way possible. Are, you, are your parents still around or? Oh, no. They're yeah, they're still around They're um Actually, you bring that up. Ooh, our uh, parents are selling their. Our childhood house. So recently, oh, I went there to go have a dinner. We're having Christmas soon. I've never done Christmas any at any house other than that house I grew up. I in. did this last year. They're selling it. My it's, grandma's house. Yeah. Like my, I, when I saw they painted over our wall that had all my heights from like you know puberty oh, guitar. Man. When I saw that painted over, oh, it broke my heart. My dad sold the house that he uh, built that I grew up in a couple years ago, and it was definitely weird to not to come home for Christmas and be staying in this place that I'm just not. I have no attachment to. So yeah, I, and I was so. I was living out in uh, California at the time, so I didn't get to go back and visit and do like a final walkthrough. But I, I get you. Yeah, are you are you close with your parents? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, me and my brother Ryan, we took her. My mom, my mom on her bucket list to uh, Europe, right? Yep, we took her to Europe. She'd never been to Europe before, and so we took her on a trip to Europe. We actually live streamed a couple of the days here and there. Um, I grew a uh, love for gardens while I was there. That's awesome. We, we did a lot of stuff for my mom, you know. My mom loves gardening, so we went to a lot of gardens. I was like, this is sick. Went to Monet's garden. It was beautiful. I loved it. Wait, really? You want to yeah. have your own garden? Hell, I can't put in the time and effort to that. Yeah. Well, why don't but, you stream it? But I will... You know people would love to watch well, the garden. show to pop right, and gardening. Right now, that's actually a good idea. But right now, that takes away from Classic Wild, therefore, not going to happen. My uh, my partner, John, uh, just built a, a garden at his house. And, and from what I can understand, it, like it's a, it's a very rewarding hobby. You know, I put some time and effort in something and then watch it grow. I, I actually think that would be really cool. And I've never thought about gardening. Yeah. No. Uh, I really, really love the way that you talk about your brother, though. It seems like you're really close with your family. love my brother to death. Does he yeah. play WoW? Well, <laughs> we're going to make him play WoW. He's, I tell, no, he's, <laughs> he's your lawyer. He should not play yeah, it, World I told him one day we're going to make a character together. Okay, let me just, I played Portal with Ryan. Oh, oh my okay. God. How'd that go? He got motion sickness and threw up. Stop. That is, that is how you're the reason why we don't have an FOB slider in Fortnite because <laughs> people think they're gonna get sick. He actually threw up from Portal and I couldn't, but he had, uh, he, I, I was like, I thought he was trolling me. He's like, Chance, I need a break. I cannot play it. I'm gonna throw up. I'm like, are you, are you, are you Wait. actually serious? He's like, yes. So what happened if he would play VR? Imagine. Um. He's, he's got, I can, I can, <laughs> Wait. Put, a VR, put, put a VR headset no, on. No, no, no. We got to take him to Six God. Flags. They have a VR roller coaster. Whoa. Like, you get on a roller coaster and you put a VR headset on. I don't understand that makes me throw why up. that's a thing. You're on a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> you don't need a VR headset. Why am I in VR? Well, yeah, how do you even compound that? Like you're in space when you're on the roller coaster in VR? Like I don't get it. I don't know, but I used uh, VR like two and a half years ago. For what? At, uh, Dude. I did a uh, sponsored deal with Intel oh. at uh, that Vegas... Con, what is, what is Vegas it? Vegas Con, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's a tech one. The VR sucked back then, and I just did a sponsor deal with Oculus. I enjoyed it so much, and I'm like, this is free. I, I had a good time in VR. Um, Ooh, my friend Poke. VR porn, did you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically, uh, no, 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 no. This is like oh. VR chat. So kind of. Whatever. Wait, VR chat's hilarious, by the yeah. way. Okay, so I was with <laughs> Poke, and Poke had some friends in VR, and, he's, and he had some friends that were like, hey, man, like I got some shit I, I just can't show you on stream. <laughs> and so I'm hanging out with Poke. We get really high one night. And oh, my God. So he decided, hey, man, I got some friends. I want to show me stuff. You want to tag along? I'm like, yeah, of course. So we go in and it's like this basically this big sex dungeon of all these VR chat furries. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck's going on. And he's like, we're just there to watch. And, and so I'm there in Discord with Poke. Dude, I had to mute my mic because I didn't want to laugh in game because they're like they're like banging in game. Like fucking like they're like, real people. They're cybering. Yeah. Real yeah, yeah. people. No, they're two dudes, but they're hot anime babes. So they're just banging. Um, oh my God. And I remember Vigor came in. He's my friend. I don't know if we didn't mention him earlier, no. but he came in and we're just, I'm sitting there snickering in discord laughing, uh, moody my mic in game and Vigor just walks up, looks over and says, did you come yet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> these two dudes are moaning. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're just moaning. It was the, that was Dude, my, that's my, wait, I, when he came, uh, wait, I just want to go back when he said, Hey man, I got some shit that I can't show you on stream. That just sounds. If, you, if you're getting told that in VR chat, you're seeing some some crazy. Oh, I shit. saw. It was a great night. It was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, I feel like you've been on the dark web before. Of course. Oh, oh God. Yeah, of course. Wait, I'm on the computer all day. What's it like buying weed in Texas? 
Because isn't That's weed like one. very illegal in Texas? Like if yeah. you get arrested, yeah. like you get arrested. Are, we, are, uh, are you going to get him arrested right now by him answering this? Well, he's I already actually, said he's been stoned twice, so I can ask yeah, questions. But, but I mean, have a copy of my room in California. It's an exact replica that I go to every now and then. Yeah, oh, that That's makes crazy. sense. But overall in Austin, it's Smart. like in most locations, they don't really give a shit. No? Weed. Yeah, as long as you're not dealing or anything like that, they don't fucking care. <laughs> I mean, like they just don't care. You're going to hurt anybody else. No. You're just enjoying yourself. Yeah, pretty much. And watching <laughs> VR porn. Ooh, <laughs> VR chat oh, porn. oh, let's hear. I got a uh, hot three. topic. Interstellar okay. Inception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about it? Which one? Interstellar or Inception? Have you seen them? Which am I stoned for these or am I sober? St uh, st uh, if I'm stoned, I'm going Interstellar. If I actually fuck man, actually both would be great. Man, that's a tough one. Okay, let's go with. All right, Interst I'm gonna go Interstellar. Ah, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. They're both. You're actually amazing films. Let's see. Literally, but I love space. So I'm biased. Hey, I love space. Okay. He loves anime, Interstellar. I bet you watch hentai. Every now and then. It depends yeah. on my mood, you know? You I like this guy. Dude, he gives the straight answers. I love it. He doesn't shy away. Uh, you are like the most literal. And I, dude, I, 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 I'm genuinely, I might be your biggest fan. That sums up his <laughs> this entire This is my favorite ever. <laughs> that sums up his entire, like that sums up everything about your stream. No, yeah. I get it now. Wait, Matt, do you know, I, I've watched so much on, on Twitch, so much out there. And the one day that I had a true awakening of online content was when I tuned into Chance's stream like four years ago, and it was like sellout Sunday. Oh yeah. And this it. motherfucker started his stream, and it's like what was it like thirty three cents per second or something? Thirty three cents per per second. Per yeah. second, and it, and you could donate with a link, and it would play the video for as long as you donate. Well, for it. the idea behind it was it's like if they donate a video that's free, usually they're going to donate stuff that's boring, but it's more entertaining when people are donating videos yep. that they're paying for. They Were you the first to person to do this? Because a lot of people do it now. Yes. And One bro, of. he went live for 10 hours and for 10 hours straight there was media playing because people were sending donations. Yeah. Like whatever 10 hours times 33 cents for all those seconds is and I, my jaw, I was, go, I was just going through your VOD and just like skipping and it was like media's playing. Media's playing. Media's, media, media's, play, media's playing. I was like, how? How on earth? That 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 was when my mind like I, I like transcended human but understanding of Twitch. That's, that's how it works. I mean, you have a lot of viewers. Every sometimes people just have money. It's just like and fuck the, it, and it, it becomes like a competition to one up each other in humor for them. Yeah, like they're like, I'm gonna donate, and this video is gonna be the funniest that he's seen yet. They, yeah, they well a lot of the times they donate the same damn video. I'm like, I've already seen this one. Yeah, and they're like, oh shit. Well, it's like I'm sitting there for ten hours. There's only so many spicy memes for the week, right? Yep. Um, that was the other thing is like I only like doing it once per month. Because yeah. if I do it again, so many weebs, they all love donating their anime intros. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, ooh, I don't give a shit stuff. to watch this. So I had to like space it out once per month. I actually just stopped doing sellout Sunday. I'm over it. But dude, care. when you when that was happening, that was wild. It was fun as fuck. I liked it at first. It, it just got so boring. Yeah, it it, uh, it, 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 it you hit a wall on it. I can imagine. Um, but hey, listen, dude, that, that, that some of the stuff that, you, that you've done with that's, that is that's actually how I uh, the, mentioned the my, my girlfriend Angel about sex doll. Um, Angel. that is how I raised the money for that stream. Was I was like, hey guys, we'll do a sellout Sunday. All the money that the sellout Sunday makes goes towards y'all's dumbass Ooh. fund um, of stupid shit you can buy. So. Who's your favorite streamer? That's not you. Do you watch other streamers or when you're, I do. When you're not live, you don't watch at all? I would say as of right now, my favorite streamers are going to consist of WoW streamers, obviously, but it always changes. So right now I'm looking at SFAM, I'm looking at Asmin, I'm looking at just WoW streamers. Non-WoW. Non-World of Warcraft, like variety streamers? Anybody. Just not WoW. I'm just curious where, you, like, where, where your tastes are. Uh, avoiding the puddle. Eris, for sure. I love Eris. I think he's just the funniest guy. So I, I definitely would say a lot of him. Now, do I watch his streams? I more so enjoy the clips. I'm a cl I'm a big clip watcher, um, but when I catch them live, I check it out. What do you think about a bunch of people uh, moving platforms? Has anybody reached out from other uh, other companies trying to poach you? That's a those are, that's an interesting discussion topic. Um, there's been a lot of ripples made from the whole ninja fiasco. A lot of ripples have been made uh, as of right now. Not a whole lights. Um, how do I go about that question? That's a you don't have to don't answer, have answer directly. I, I think uh, what Ninja did was fantastic. I, he had a really tough decision to make. I'm sure, they gave him a lot of money. It was um, probably set for life. And I, I think it's I think it's good that there's going to be competition. I think it's good that people are I agree with that spreading out. And I think it's good, good that a lot of people that have built their brands got to a place where they can monetize it really well. Do, do, what if now? Let's put it out there. Okay. If you got a great offer, would you? feel confident leaving leaving Twitch to go to another platform. 
Um, would it would it even be something you entertain? It'd be a, it'd be a tougher decision to make. Yeah. That's a, that's a really tough one. I've been I think it'd be yeah, it's definitely tough for anyone. I mean, I just you know, ten years on Twitch is a pretty long fucking time. Yeah. yeah. But um, if I walked in and said, I'm going to give you $5 million to stream here for one year, would you do it? <sighs> you driving Bob? Probably not. No. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Interesting. Because we're starting our own streaming platform and we're <laughs> looking to see how much of a take yeah, it would take. It, it's called a Zubu TV. <laughs> I don't know. That's no, such a tough one. Fire. We're bringing it the fuck back. Wait, what was, but, the, what was the other one? At the end of the day, one? you still Zubu are. And, I don't know. What was the other one? A Zubu and... Uh, there's one more big one that was like a direct impact. Owned. Oh, my God. Owned, owned 3D. Owned they went out of business. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all, all of them did. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so what, did MLG TV. Yeah. All of them went out wow. of a, uh, all of them went out of business. Um, you've done charity and stuff on stream before? Plenty. And they've all been really fucking stupid. Yeah. Really fun, but stupid as shit. What are some of the dumb things you've done for charity? Oh, I dyed my hair. It was the first, one of the first things I ever did. It was a long time ago. Like Ninja hadn't dyed his hair yet. So it was. Looked at it a little differently. YouTubers weren't really that big dyeing yep. their hair. I uh, dyed my hair. I've shaved my head. I've eaten ghost peppers. I've written Sharpie on myself. I've danced to bubble pop. I've um, see how many marshmallows I can fit in my mouth. Look like cum drizzling out of my mouth. But <laughs> that was there. I, um, <laughs> I just saw like 12 people in the crowd shake their head. <laughs> yeah. Your brother's shaking his head. <laughs> oh, wax my eyebrows. Uh, that didn't go very well. Put on wax a dress? Put on a dr- Ryan put on a dress, put on a wig too. That shit was you looking pretty good. Um, <laughs> you gonna make what else we up. got? <laughs> Fuck going on over there. I here. mean, there's so many stupid. I tried to cook on stream. That was bad. Oh, I'm I, learning to cook. Dude, I can't boil water. I, I like. <laughs> I literally. It's not even a joke. Okay, I actually, made oatmeal. It's pretty easy. No, I don't know how to make oatmeal. I'm gen- genuinely don't know how. Wow. That's no, good. I could figure it out, but like if you asked me to make oatmeal right now, I'd have to like read the instructions and figure. Wait. Out so what do you do? Do you just do you just order in food? You every order day? food. Dude, same. Yeah. I mean, it's not Bad. worth it for me to take the time to cook, usually, especially while I'm live. Yeah, no, yeah. and no, and it, it sounds stupid to say, but it's true. It's like part of your business. Like, yeah, the time that you're not spending cooking, you're making money. Yes. Uh, but, but that being said, I thought about doing cooking streams. I'm like, I could make content while learning because I kind of want to learn. It's kind of pathetic. And I know it is. Dude, I never understood the whole dye my hair a crazy color thing. Mm-hmm. There was a time where every fucking person that wanted to be like a popular Twitch streamer or a YouTuber was dyeing their hair to some random color. And I don't know why, but I have like an irrational hate for it. Yeah, no, I'm not about it. Now it's like <sighs> different. It's a different time now. It's looked very, very differently. I'm not about dyeing my hair anymore. I don't want to. Um, I stopped shaving my head because I didn't like not having hair on my head. Um, and then, uh, then I dyed I like my having hair. eyebrows. <laughs> so I didn't, that, yeah. <laughs> didn't wax um, you have nice hair. We were uh, talking about it before the stream, or uh, before the podcast. Need a haircut. You want you want to switch it up? I like getting a haircut. It's a little long right now. I can't do anything with it. If I flew to Austin, mm-hmm. and brought you to a barber, would you let me and yeah, pick sure. your haircut? Do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you? Yeah. Do, would you? Would you come visit? You're a good LA? looking guy. You know, you got, you got nice eyes. No, no. He's got a nice come, jawline. He's, he's got to come visit LA. He can stream for the house. Oh, yo, you should actually. And then he can get you with the barber, and then we do a we do a fashion day. Fashion day. Yeah, we got my that. boy. Like, uh, like, like, just get get you like amped up, like leveled up. We could get like Jordan Fisher or like one of my guys, uh, Alex Costa, who's like he used to work at YouTube and now he's like the fashion icon on I, Instagram. I, I wasn't mean. I actually don't know Jordan Fisher's. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't know who he was a year ago either, but I know Jack. <laughs> he's a really listen. Nice guy. He said he, you invited him to his. You you invited him to your guild. Did I? Yeah. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, oh. now you reminded me. Yes. Dude, wow. Okay. We should, we should okay. Wait, Jordan Fisher. We're, we're gonna. I'm gonna approach him later about this. If well, you ever, thing, it's like I, I think I remember talking. Fuck, I had so many people reaching out wanting to join the guild. That's a problem. So many. There's are so there, many names. Are there classic guild rivalries right now? Yes. Can you talk trash about the other guilds? They're dog shit. Can you by name call they're them all, dog shit? I don't want to because they're trying to make it. I'm not giving the attention. Wow. If I paid you a bunch of money, would you join 100 Thieves? You think? Would you consider joining a team or no? I'm a part owner of NRG. Oh, yeah. you are? Holy yes. shit. That probably wouldn't end well. Uh, I wouldn't. I end knew well. that. Energy's been doing well. I haven't paid attention. <laughs> How long have you been a part owner for? I don't remember. Ages. Long time. Well, pretty long time. Long, yeah. long time. So your equity is all vested. I don't, dude, I don't even know where it's at. I don't look at it. Hey, dude, I don't hey. even read emails, man. I don't need it. It's okay. I, I don't, like <laughs> I don't it. think Matt on. does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, no, if, if, you, uh, if you ever want to take a trip to California, we have an extra bedroom. Temper okay. Peak mattress. All right, book me up. And we Streams. got a and we got a stream a, a setup. Three monitors. Three monitors. Yeah, everything you need. Get whatever you want. 
We're opening up a, a new facility, actually, too. Um, that'll be opened up at the beginning of 2020 next year. And we're going to have catered lunch every day. And we're going to have four streaming pods. So state of the art. Whenever somebody wants to visit, like, it'll be, yeah, state of the art. So you should come through, man, whenever you want. Oh, for sure. Okay, I'm reaching out. Let's get some of that shit. Okay, no, I'll, I'll reach like. out. I'll reach I out. I love that. All right, all right, cool. Wait, cool. we have a little segment here. I want Yes. To... All right. It's called Best and Worst. Okay. Best and Worst. Yeah. What is the best and worst stream you've ever had? Okay, what is, define best and whatever you word. think best is. If it's okay. a ton of viewers, if it's a ton of money earned, if it's charity, if it's best, wow. Best stream I ever had, at least one that's very memorable for me. Yeah. Probably was you mentioned where I dyed my hair. I did a charity stream with Nick. It was just me and my my best friend Nick sitting in the room and we dyed our we bleached our it was so bad and so scuffed and so memorable and so funny. Um and I loved it. Yeah. So I would say at the top of my head, there God, there's so many good streams. I got when I got my sub button for the first time. Twitch wouldn't give me a sub button for a very long time. Um, God, there's so many good ones. I'm going to go with the hair dye, though, because that was a very fun, okay. very fun stream. Okay. Do you no. have a memorable worst one? Man, I try and remove those from my memory. Oh, worst stream. Okay, I accidentally turned it on, and I didn't realize. Oh, and I was like, testing on Mike. Uh, uh, that sounds uh, about right. It's on God. YouTube. It's cringy as hell. Test, test, test. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, hello. You could have been like jerking <laughs> off or something, though. That's good. That but, yeah. Dude, that. I, had a, I almost had a really scary run with that. I somehow fat-fingered and set my hotkey to start streaming to W. So I would open my OBS and like wait, and I'd be like answering emails, typing, and I would type W, and then my stream would start. And next thing you know, my chat starts moving, and I'm like, I didn't know what it was, and then I realized like three days in a row of that happening that I set W to the hotkey. I don't even know how to set a hotkey on OBS, but I did that. That was my worst time. <laughs> Best and worst. Oh, actually, we probably shouldn't talk about this one. Best and worst fast food restaurant. Best and worst fast food. Worst. What a burger. Burger King. Burger King's fucking great. What's Dog wrong shit. with you? Fuck's wrong with you? I got one Burger King from them or one sandwich from them. That shit wasn't even cooked. Dude, they had a red velvet milkshake one time. It was incredible. Uh, the I never got the milkshake. Are, fire the burgers are great this you're an idiot but i like you a lot they're dog shit. well what's the best then the best is i take this personally i don't even like burger king that much but it's not maybe chick-fil-a okay that's a respect i like chick-fil-a they're really good chick-fil-a is great what's your favorite fast food burger then though fast food burger is five guys fast food yeah yeah okay all right i'll go with five guys like five guys more than in out yeah in and out's not that great Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. <laughs> um, best, best and worst World of Warcraft player. Best and worst of all time, dude. No, no we're not fucking. No, we're not. We're not going to the next topic. In and Out is the best fast oh, food burger okay. that you can have. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actual. It's actual shit. It is the most. You've consistent. been. You've been manipulated it's, and controlled. It, it, no, no. I, I, I don't get manipulated when it comes to fast food. I've been eating it. Mine. I learned. I worked That's at what fucking they want McDonald's for four years. Listen. The double double has the perfect amount of bun to meat to cheese ratio. Why did you say? No, it does not. Why did you do this, soda pop? And then you get spread and you open it up and with every bite you take, you put a little squirt of spread Listen, on there. Listen, if you even if you evenly distribute dog shit and urine, it's still dog shit and urine. Their, oh! their meat is bad. Everything's bad. Ladies and gentlemen, dude, I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's your favorite streamer now. Um, it's such a it's such a bad take. It's not that bad. Like it actually I agree. It's not that bad, but I just don't care for it. I just don't care for it. I bet you like Whataburger. Nah, it's also dog shit. Thank God. Whataburger only. Those of you that live thing. in Texas, Whataburger I mean, is you're, you're talking about disgusting. Fast. It's not disgusting. I mean, I've, I have it because they're 24 hours. I mean, like if In and Out was there and Whataburger was there, I would flip a coin to pick one. Yeah, oh, wow. Dude, all right, come on. Oh, we gotta we, just nah, move, on, move I th on. I think we've been going for like an hour anyway. Can we yeah. just end it? Uh, 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 guys. Everyone for watching live. Can we give a round of applause for yourselves out there? Thank you for being here. First ever live Courage and Nate Shot show. Again, this is available everywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to drop a like. Be sure to check out Soda Poppin everywhere. At Soda Poppin everywhere. What? what? <laughs> Wait, at, I spaced it, out. I social media. Out. At Soda Poppin everywhere. I, like, don't, I don't know. Don't okay. Find him. Hey, man. Find just him. look up Soda Poppin. I know Poppin. you're busy this weekend. S O D A. Really popular on Twitch. Yeah, are at TwitchCon. I really appreciate you coming on. We're, yeah, actually, we, we're actually wrapping it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We've been going for like. <laughs> Wait, was that fun? Did you did you enjoy yourself? Yeah. No, I'm good. I just I didn't know we were wrapping it up. Thought you were memeing. What is, what is what is the rest of your day now going to be? I'm going to go play WoW. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that's exactly what. Yeah. He was gonna say, I got bro. my laptop. I'm going to go get my computer and wait. Maybe we'll do a party if Ryan drags me out, but I don't want to go. Hell yeah, bro. Well, yeah, I'm thank not you. About it. Thank no, you again for coming. Oh, I had a great time. Y'all are awesome. I uh, I enjoyed this a lot. I didn't know much about you, and now uh, 
Dude, I think I gotta watch you stream more. Now you, now, gonna, now you hate. I'm me. not even streaming right now. I'm trying to play WoW. It's a bad take on In and Out, but you're you're a fucking cool guy, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I think you're Thank cool you guys for watching. Out. See you guys next time. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, shout out Totinos once again. Shout out Totinos, guys. Go check out the in-game items that we co-designed together. They're gonna be really dope. Leave New a five-star review on iTunes. Fun. Shout out Cash App. If you don't use Cash App, then fuck you. It's not loaded. I tried to shoot it. Yeah, there's no money in it. It's supposed to shoot money. Oh. Wait. Oh, I got How do you load money in? Yeah, let's do it. I'm not putting money in that. Wait, how does it work? Actually, I don't know. We should probably end probably, the show. We probably should end the show. We'll me, figure this me, out. Yeah. All right. We love you guys. Talk to you next time. Guys, Peace. thank you so much for watching. Totinos. I'm going to fuck with you, bro. Hail Satan. Hey, Totinos, fuck with you, Sean. All right. We're done. Yeah.